Good afternoon, and welcome to the California State Leadership Conference newscast. I'm your host, Duncan. And I'm Liam, your co-host for this afternoon. Today, we'll be meeting the Canadian delegates, seeing the action that went down during the workshops, interviewing another SLC alumni, as well as an exclusive interview with Houston Craft. Man, I love that guy. First, we'll head to Luke, who's in the field with our friends from the Great White North. I'm Kelsey Haggerty, and I'm from Athabasca, Alberta. And my name's Emmett Sawyer, and I'm from Acme, Alberta. My favorite part is meeting people from all over California and trying to understand where they're from in the counties, but I don't think I'll ever get a grasp on that. <laughs> I guess the biggest thing that I've learned so far is that it's really easy to meet people who you like, relate to very well. I mean, in Alberta, we're all about cows and horses, but here they're, like, you relate to people on a different level, and I feel like that's really cool. I think what I've learned so far is that you can be internal in yourself and you, and you can just um, not talk to anyone, or you can be that person who's trying to talk to as many people as possible and really try to network with everyone. I think that's what I've really learned is to try and be outgoing and then start to network with more people. Thank you, Luke. I didn't even know that there was a Canadian exchange. Canada sounds like a lot of fun, and it's a place I want to visit. Now, let's hear what happened at the workshops. It was so much fun. Um, this was the uh, Raise a Bar uh, seminar. We made soap that will eventually go to um, the organization called Cora, which is for battered women and children. We mixed the soap and we poured it into the molds, but it will be later cut um, later cut after it's cured. My name is Caleb Dowbell and I'm from Santa Claus Counties. Okay, so we did this workshop called The Fast and the Pill. And basically it was like trying to make a whole movie in five minutes. That's like, it took two hours to do. And so we have a lot of ideas and a lot of plans and we're, we're actually still working on it right back there. Those workshops looked exciting. I heard that the Texas Tech Team's workshop included s'mores. I wonder how they came out. Now we're going to head over to Olivia from the Texas Technology Team for a special interview with another 4-H alumni. Hi, I'm here with Sarah and I just have a couple questions for her today. How long have you been a part of SLC? Uh, my very first SLC was in 2009 at UC Merced. Um, so this is my eighth SLC. And what roles have you had? Uh, I started as a delegate in 2009, 2010, um, and then I began uh, as staff in 2011. I was on the logistics committee, uh, and then I became a state ambassador, and I've kind of just stayed on ever since as stage manager uh, and then the PA coordinator. Awesome. And what's your favorite memory? Um, my favorite memory is actually my very first SLC. I was really, really shy and I never went to school dances because I didn't like having to dance in front of other people <laughs> at all. Um, but my very first SLC, all my friends who were from my county uh, all went to the dance together and they made me feel really comfortable and I, and I danced for the first time with my friends and we had a whole bunch of fun and I learned how to like line dance uh, to a bunch of different songs with everybody, which is really fun to line dance with 400 people. So, yeah. Thanks, Olivia. And thank you for bringing some of these s'mores. These are amazing. And thank you to Sarah for sharing her wealth of experience with us. Now, we have an exclusive interview with Houston Craft. Over to you, Peyton. So, who or what was your original motivation for bringing uh, a motivational speaker? When I saw someone speak, um, in, when I was in high school, who was this like amazing storyteller? I never felt like it was like here's the ten things you know about life. It was like they were just telling you a story, and it connected so much with my story. That's what like propelled me to want to do this: is just tell meaningful stories that help people. That's so cool. So in your seminar today, you talked a lot about love. So what is your own definition of love? To me, my current definition of love is um, our infinite capacity to choose to bring goodness into the world. That was great. I loved hearing about Houston's story. Thank you to all the people who made SLC possible, as well as our amazing reporters and Liam. I hope everyone enjoyed the conference, and now a message from our producers. This is brought to you by the California 4-H Educational Technology Advisory Committee, also known as the Tech Team. Here are some of the things that we do. We take photos and videos at events. We advise California 4-H on new technologies. 
We lead workshops at 4-H conferences. We provide technology support at statewide 4-H events. We want more 4-H's to join the tech team. Talk to one of us today about how to apply.